What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do an RGB split in After Effects. So you can see I have After Effects opened along with a composition of just my logo. Now the first thing we're going to do is duplicate it by pressing Ctrl D on your keyboard. Alternatively, you can come up to Edit and select Duplicate. Now with that bottom layer, we can hide it by pressing this button right here. And then the next thing we're going to do is head over to Effect, come over to Channel, and from channel, select set channels. Now, this is what we're gonna get, and it's very simple, don't worry about it. So the first thing, where it says set greens to sources to, we're going to change this to off. And for blue, we're gonna change it to off. Then, with this layer down here, we're gonna duplicate it again. So we're gonna press Control D on our keyboard. Now, for this one, we're gonna turn the red to off, and we're gonna turn the green to green. And we're going to duplicate it one more time by pressing Ctrl D again. And for this one, the green is going to be turned off and the blue source is going to be turned to blue. So this is how it's going to currently look. And we're going to select all three layers that we've just duplicated and added this effect to. And where it says mode, we're going to select one and just select add. You'll see all of them will change and that's what we want. The next thing we're going to do is press P on your keyboard to bring up the position animation. And we're going to Alt click or if we're on a Mac, command click or option click is one of them and you're going to select the position button right here now what you're going to type in is wiggle you're going to type in open bracket and then from here you can pick a number so what i'm going to pick is 12 comma 20 and then close bracket and from here i'm going to uh, highlight all this and press ctrl c and now we're going to head back over to the next one which is position alt click press ctrl v and then final one, alt click, press control V and that is done. So you can press P again to close all them. And this is what we currently have. You can see that's what it looks like. So now we're gonna pre-compose these layers. To do that, we're gonna head over to layer, select pre-compose and we can just call this RGB, select okay. And this is where we are now at. So um, pick how long you want this to take to start. For example, I'm at one second now and you can see it says this tells us over here what i'm going to do is press ctrl shift and d to split the clip alternatively you can come up here to select edit and select split layer then i'm going to come across a few uh frames so 15 frames and i'm going to press ctrl shift d again to split and this first one down here i'm going to delete and then i'm going to come across again this time to two seconds and 15 frames right there I'm going to press Control shift d again, come across 15 frames, so then we're at 3 seconds. I'm going to press Control shift d one more time, and I'm going to delete this top track, I'm going to delete this middle track, and this is what we have. Let me just turn on the uh, logo here, so it's normal. It's going to go like that, and it's going to go like that again. Now remember, I only picked 15 frames for these, of course you can experiment and pick which or how long you want it. But from there, of course, just render it out and it is done. But that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully it has been useful for you. And of course, doing this effect, you can create an intro and you can do some transitions with this as well. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.